Welcome to Norway. What's up guys, welcome back to another LumaFusion video. I'm Rob HK and in this video we're gonna talk about the blur effect and how you can blur out anything. If it's your face, if it's a whole person, if it's your license plate, if it's anything, you can basically blur out anything. So in this video I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that and how super simple it is to motion track and to move the blur in the speed of time. So let's head over to LumaFusion and start the tutorial. So as we get into LumaFusion, you can see that we already have a clip on our timeline. And let's say for instance that I want to show this video, but I don't want my son to be in the video, uh, but I want to show the surroundings and everything in the frame. Uh, so we need to mask him out or blur him out. And the easiest way to do this is to first duplicate the clip so we're gonna go and clone the clip and then we're gonna take the clone clip and place above the first one. So once we place the clone clip on top of the first clip, we're gonna go into edit on the clone clip. And once we're inside of edit, we're gonna go to color and effects and we're gonna find pixelate. Uh, it doesn't have to be pixelate. You can use whatever effect you want for uh, this type of uh, blurring. It doesn't have to be the pixelate. You can use Gaussian blur. You can use anything that you want. But in this tutorial, we're going to use pixelate. And we're going to adjust the pixelate as we want. But we're going to come back to this later. So the next thing we do is to go over to frame and fit and we go into cropping. And once we start cropping, you see that we crop the effect so it gets smaller and you can always play around with edge softness and corner radius to find the proper setting suited for you. So once we've done that, we simply tap and hold on any of the pins in the corner or to the top, bottom, right or left, because this is the easiest way to adjust the size of the cropping. And once we found the proper size, we're gonna go to the beginning of the clip and we're gonna make a keyframe. And once we made that keyframe, we're gonna take our finger and just drag across the timeline. And as the subject is increasing and getting outside of the crop, we simply adjust the crop and a new keyframe will be added automatically. And the best way to adjust the crop is simply by tap holding in the middle of the square, which is the cropping, and simply just drag it across the screen so you cover the subject or the object that you want to blur out. You can also follow my example to see what I do. So now that we're done with all the keyframes and the positioning of the crop, we can go out to our timeline and we can tap play to see how it looks. Mm -hmm. 
and you can see that we managed to blur out my son completely so there's nothing of him that is visible inside the frame you can only see a subject that moves inside a pixelated frame and what's really important when we're gonna motion track this cropping is that we do the motion tracking inside the cropping section. If we do it inside size and positioning, which we use in most cases, you will see that we take one piece of the frame, one piece of the image or video, and that's the piece of uh, video that we are moving around. So the effect won't look that good. And here's an example of that. So that's the super awesome blur effect. It's it's super easy, and it's uh, I'm not I'm not saying that you're gonna use it all the time and that you will use it at all. But it's a super simple effect that is uh, really good to know about. Let's say if you, you if you think about like, damn, I should have known how to blur that out. How can I how can I blur that without blurring the entire clip? And now you know. So this is a super easy way to blur out anything. And once again, I'm not saying that you're gonna use it all the time. I'm not saying that you will use it at all, but now you know. So I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to check down in the description below for the 10,000 subscribers giveaway and 50% off on everything on Snellfy. And uh, that's it for this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and comment. Peace out.